tone of music is organized by the relationships between chords and keys, the most important relationship being between the tonic and dominant chords with tension created by the dominant and resolution created by the movement from the dominant to the tonic. In an attempt to find a system for organizing a tone of music, Arnold Schoenberg created serial music. In this video, we will discuss 12-tone serial music as developed by Arnold Schoenberg. In this type of composition, there is an attempt to make each note of equal importance. With each note being equal, there is no tonic. To do this, the composition is based on a 12-tone row that includes each of the notes of the chromatic scale. Here is a 12-tone row. Notice that each of the notes of the chromatic scale are included without repetition. For this example, I have used flats for some notes and sharps for others. This is only out of preference. Since all of the notes are of equal importance, C sharp or D flat, for example, represent the same function and are therefore equivalent. Based on Schoenberg's rules, a 12-tone row can be used in various ways within a composition. 1. The row can be transposed to start on any note of the chromatic scale. 2. The original form and its transpositions can be used in inversion. 3. The original form and its transpositions can be used in retrograde. 4. The original form and its transpositions can be used in retrograde inversion. By taking all of these possible variations of the 12-tone row, there are 48, a composer has a wealth of note choices to draw from in creating a composition. Schoenberg created a 12-tone matrix to organize the original row and all of its derivations. Here is a 12-tone matrix with only our original row included. This row will always be presented first in the composition and is referred to as the prime zero. Since our row begins on F, we will call it P0, with zero representing the F note. On the piano, we will find the numbers for each note of the chromatic scale by numbering the half steps beginning on F. These numbers will be used to help name the other versions of the row. Next, we will start on F and create the inversion. This will be referred to as I0 for the inversion beginning on the F note. In the prime form, F to D flat is a minor 6 up. To invert, we will need to go down by a minor 6 from F to A. D flat to A in the prime form is 4 half steps, or the equivalent of a major third down. To invert this, we will go up by a major third from A to C sharp. A to B flat in the prime form is a half step up. In the inverted form, we will need to go down by a half step from C sharp to C. If we continue to invert the intervals, we will have the following I0. To complete the matrix, we would next need to create the transpositions of the prime form by using each of the notes of the inversion as a starting point. First, we will number the beginning note of each of the transposed prime forms. Since F is 0, F sharp slash G flat is 1, G is 2, G sharp slash A flat is 3, A is 4, B flat slash A sharp is 5, B is 6, C is 7, C sharp or D flat is 8, D is 9, D sharp or E flat is 10, and E is 11. Let's begin by transposing prime 1. Since it is only a half step from prime 0, it will be fairly easy to transpose. The note the half step above F is G flat or F sharp. I will use flats to simplify, but you could use sharps or a combination of both. The note the half step above D flat is D. 
the node a half step above A is B flat, and we can work our way through the remainder of the notes of prime zero to find the notes of prime one that are up by a half step. Next, we can move to prime two and find the notes by finding each of the notes that are a half step above the notes of prime one. If we continue in this manner, we will next find the notes of prime three as up a half step from the notes of prime two. Using this system, we can gradually find all of the notes of the 12 tone matrix based on our original 12 tone row. Here we have the 48 possible versions of our row. The transposed versions represented by P for prime, the retrograde versions represented by R, the inverted versions represented by I, and the retrograde of the inversions represented by RI.